This is the innovative Sierra Designs backcountry bed. You can see we've got two different versions of the bed here in front of us, and actually it comes in a number of different varieties. Um, different rates of fill, different temperature ratings for different purposes. But there's shared features across the line that make the backcountry bed different than any sleeping bag you've ever seen. Before we touch on some of those unique features, let's talk about the fabrication of the backcountry bed. So we've got polyester ripstop fabric on the exterior and a taffeta lining. So Nice comfort inside, nice durability on the outside. The backcountry bed utilizes um, duck down and it's dry down, duck down insulation. So what you're getting is that uh, compressibility, that excellent, excellent thermal efficiency that you'd expect from a down insulation. But the dry down treatment ensures that this is highly water resistant comparative to what you'd get from a non-treated down. So you're getting the warmth, you're getting the compressibility, but you're also getting all weather performance that you wouldn't have without that dry down insulation. The bag we've got in front of us is a 600 fill bag. Uh, Sierra Designs does also offer these bags in an 800 fill. They're pricier with that more premium down. They're also more compressible and lighter in weight. This 600 fill three season bag that we're looking at right here, um, three pounds, one ounce for the regular length. So still a great option for three season backpacking. Some really obvious design features on the backcountry bed that separates it from other options that are out there. Starting with this big, broad, unusual opening on the face of the bag itself. This is a sewn in down comforter. You can see it peels away from the interior folds down but is stitched in place so it is it is secure it's a zipperless bag there is no side zippered entry to this bag it doesn't throw open in that regard um, but the comforter folds down actually makes it really really easy to get in and out of this bag it also gives it a lot of venting options the hood certainly is non-traditional you can see it's just a straight straight cut across the top of the bag my concern was initially on this bag was can it possibly retain its thermal efficiency use this for a few days last summer up in colorado and it does it does it, it made a believer out of me the comforter itself has sewn in integrated hand warmer pockets that also enables you to pull that comforter in around you and seals it nicely within the bag itself I didn't get cold air into the bag. I was pleasantly surprised by that. It was just as warm as the temperature rating would suggest, even with that down comforter. Upside of that was it gave me all kinds of venting options. I could get an arm out, I could get both arms out. They could even sneak a leg out and put it completely outside of the bag. Um, in addition to that, there is a foot vent here at the near the bottom of the sleeping bag. It's not like where I've seen it before, a zipper applied to the bottom that you can fiddle with and get in and out of. No zipper, just a pass through with overlapping insulation that retains that warmth when you need it, but lets you hang a foot out when temperatures climb a little bit and you just need to cool off just a tiny bit, uh, vent that bag just enough to keep you comfortable all night long. A couple other quick features to mention. As I peeled this back, you could see sleeping pad beneath the bag. There is an integrated sleeve to hold a pad in place. The pad certainly does not come with the bag, um, but whatever you've got will uh, fit inside that sleeve and ensure that the pad stays underneath you all night long for enhanced comfort. The bag does come in differing lengths. Um, so depending on your height, go with a different length, you'll find a, a comfortable fit inside the bag. It does taper to save weight, similar to a mummy style bag, but a lot more room here at the head. Each backcountry bed does come with its own stuff sack and mesh storage sack. Keep in mind, you never want to store a sleeping bag in its compressed state. Um, they're seeing the feature set, the dry down insulation, the sewn in down comforter of the backcountry bed. I'm sure you can see why we're so excited by this offering and why we're certain it is going to appeal um, to all types of backcountry users.